Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to another video talking about Tap Forms 5 for iOS and Mac. Today we are on iOS and we are doing the scripting tutorial for iPad and iOS. Now we're going to use iPad here uh, and I'm going to use this with the Apple Magic Keyboard. That's the keyboard that comes with the built-in trackpad for the iPad uh, as well as the keyboard. If you're doing any amount of scripting on the iPad I or even on the I iPhone, uh, I recommend some sort of Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, I'm a great fan of what Apple have done here with the Apple Magic Keyboard for iPad. Uh, so obviously pick that up. Now, we've done a few entries here. Uh, we can see our most recent uh, iPad project is the Yarn Balls. Uh, so what we're going to do is walk through a little bit of implementing some new functionality, highlighting uh, the bits and pieces that we have inside of tap forms. Now we've got our products here uh, and we've got this little button here. Now this little button is the favorites, favorite is scripts. So when we click on that it gives us the option to, to make make product which is one of our scripts. So to do scripting on, on uh, iPad and iOS uh, we can either click the option here to run a script uh, and go into the run a script menu. Clicking the information icon here brings up the editor. Uh, and we can add a script here as well. The other way of getting to this is to go to customize form. Uh, and there is a dedicated script section at the bottom here that again also does the same entry. Interestingly, that loaded up full screen from that view, which is kind of interesting but it is what it is uh, and we can edit scripts here bulk delete uh, add new ones when we click on a, a record uh, we also gain the option of uh, the same run script over here uh, if you're on the iPhone uh, there is no way to select a record uh, to make this work with a record so you'll always have to click into a record if you want a, to run a script that refers to that record so let's hit I on that so this is our script editor uh, as you saw there's a couple of different ways of getting to this the options in here allow us to change if we uh, want to add or remove that from the favorites uh, run script, obviously a very important one to, to test and debug. Copy script link. Uh, copies a link to the script that allows you to call it from elsewhere inside iOS uh, and execute the script. Uh, and so that'll create a link that when you tap on it or launch it from shortcuts, will then launch uh, tap forms, load this document, and then hopefully run this script. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work which is why I say hopefully uh, and you just have to load it back in again but copy script link is how you get that uh, and then duplicate script obviously creates a copy of it and rename changes the name pretty simple stuff there uh, we've got our standard save option here uh, and then on the bottom left we have the results panel uh, and we can click on this little icon here to expand that out results is the uh, return value of the script. Not all scripts return that. Uh, we'll create a new one shortly just to show you what that looks like. And then on the other side is the console log. And the console log has log messages that you know are useful for debugging but not generally for anything else. So let's create a new script. We'll call it demo script. We'll hit save on that. Uh, and we've got the basic uh, template that we've uh, come to expect this is the same behavior as you get on the desktop so uh, when we get this it creates a new function uh, matching our name if we uh, run this script let's just hit run the script uh, we can see that in the results panel it returned hello world which is what this is doing here uh, we can see in the console log the timestamp of when we run it uh, and in fact actually if we type console.log and save that, uh, obviously on the iPad with the keyboard, you can use the com command shortcuts. So command S saves, command R runs. 
by adding console.log, we can see that there's a log entry now in our console. Uh, inside the editor, we have the uh, options at the bottom here. Now these are not as useful because when you're on the, the keyboard, uh, you know, you don't need the extra options that are here. Uh, but if we click out this for a second and we go into full keyboard mode, we can see here uh, that it's actually slightly more useful, right? Because what we have is now a run button, right? So we can click on this run button to run the script. Uh, we have shortcuts for creating a couple of common uh, items as well as being able to comment a line out. Oops, and let's hit delete for that. So when we when we undock it uh, and disable the keyboard, we can see those extra options. Uh, when we have docked or otherwise, we have the snippet options, which is under that F X F F of X option. These are predefined uh, JavaScript templates that you can use to uh, write out scripts. Uh, the one that I almost always come in here for is the uh, prompt for input prompt for confirmation and child records loop uh, because one I can never remember the exact syntax for the prompter so this allows me to quickly jump that the other one is the child records loop because it allows me to select a field and automatically gets all of the ID values for me uh, which is really cool uh, the other option here is uh, select a field so we need to know what the field IDs are uh, or to be to be able to get a value, uh, and this gives us the shortcut to, and actually let's do, replace hello world with the value of the product name field. So get field value, product name. Now that created its own variable, so let's delete that bit here. And then we've got that there. And now when we hit run, actually what we should get is pink hat uh, from our thing. So what we what we just did there is we changed the value of hello world from hello world, which it was previously. Uh, and then we use the record.get field value with the product name to be able to set that. And that's just by tapping this icon on the on the right there. The last Last one here is a toggle for uh, going over to symbols and numbers uh, as opposed to necessarily having to tap that uh, as, as an option. I think on earlier versions of uh, iOS it isn't as easy, it wasn't as easy to get to that. Uh, then when we dock it, we still have the options there. It's a little thinner uh, due to the bar here that iOS adds. Uh, but we've got the same options, so you can get to f of x uh, to get to our snippets. Uh, much easier with a bit more screen real estate, right? Uh, and then uh, we can also get our field names and field IDs. So that's that's the basics there. Now, uh, as you can see, this is a, a fully functional environment. It's the full-blown JavaScript. Mm, there's almost 100% parity with the desktop. There are a few things that behave a little differently on iOS just because mobile behaves differently. But for the most part, all of the scripts run one for one on both platforms, which I think is really cool. So that's, our, that's your development environment. That's how you get a script up and running. Uh, one other nuance here is script fields, and we do have one of those. Uh, let's go into bomb entries uh, and this is actually something that bothered me the other day we had this uh, entry here it says white yarn negative one quantity two uh, and when we go from products pink uh, it looks kind of confusing uh, the reason is that the negative one is actually the current count of white yarn uh, let's click on the eye to navigate into that so we can see that's actually negative one. Uh, we have used more white yarn than we have. Uh, we should validate that. So let's just create a, a script field to solve this. So we're going to go over far to the right. Uh, we're going to go to customize form. Uh, and this is uh, 
going to add a script field. So before we were looking at form scripts, now we're looking at script fields. Uh, script fields are just fields that run a script, just like a form script, but they return a value. Uh, and we're going to call it uh, yarn name. Yarn name. Uh, so I change the type to script at the bottom here. We're going to go up to field options, jumped into script. Uh, again, we've got the same default template that we uh, know and love. We're going to get rid of that and replace it with uh, our field value, which is we want to get the ball name. Oops. And actually, what we're going to do instead of the field ID, we're going to do get field value. Um, <clears throat> and we're actually going to keep this really simple. We're just going to return it. Return yarn ball. Uh, when we run that, oh, uh, we need to do one step because yarn balls is in fact inside of this link. So we need to get the the link first, uh, the record that is the link, and then we can return that. So let's hit save on that, hit run. Uh, we can see the name is white yarn. Uh, and then when using script fields, the results, the return value is actually recorded in the record. So when we hit save and we jump out a bit, uh, and we put yarn name at the top and maybe we put yarn ball below quantity. When we do this, uh, and we should to drag down to refresh, but that didn't seem to, there we go. Uh, when we drag down to refresh, it refreshes the value. We can see it now says white yarn uh, and we have to refresh this one as well. Uh, we can see that that's now there. It's not as confusing. Uh, and then the other thing obviously we can do here is oops, to edit this field, customize form. And what we're going to do is where it says quantity, field options, uh, show title and list view. And actually let's rename it av quantity available. So it's really clear. Uh, what we're dealing with, quantity available minus one, uh, and then we sh see it here as well. Uh, da -da. So that's a basic introduction to uh, a little bit of scripting on iOS, uh, how we get the favorites there, using this to run a script to get to form scripts and work with form scripts a very quick example of how we can work with field scripts and then we did some little quality of life editing on this uh, records as well just so that you know the UI looks a little neater for when we're working via that script field. Uh, if this video was interesting to you uh, give me a like leave a comment uh, if it wasn't useful to you that's cool also please you know thumbs down if you must, but leave a comment, let me know what, what you think could be made better. Uh, these videos are put up somewhat ad hoc when I get time, so hit the subscribe button so that you find out about new ones, and hit the bell if you want to get notifications about that. Thanks again for watching, and happy tap formsing.